Right, so we're here in Harf Harlem. Um, we have a dog, a pet that uh, named Sophie. That uh, unfortunately, uh, she suffered uh, from a bite uh, from uh, her uh, sister dog, and that bite uh, happened to be around his her face. So this is what happened: her eye and her left eye almost popped out. So this is what happened with the pet right now. So today we're gonna try to make. Out of our unfortunate situation that happened yesterday, a fortunate situation, we're gonna like clean the eye, we're gonna shape around, we're gonna open the, the, the skin around the eye a bit more so we can like put the eye back and give anti-inflammatory to see if we can save the eye. Then we're gonna close the eye. So you're gonna be seeing all that in a minute. But we're gonna try, again, we're gonna try to make a, out of this unfortunate situation a fortunate one. So right now we're putting up some anesthetics. Uh, we're gonna uh, keep him uh, good dog. Yeah. We're gonna uh, give oh, uh, some sedation uh, to keep him like uh, sleepy, and so we can shave the area prep prep for uh, for surgery. So you're gonna be seeing all that in a minute. Uh, with the sedative, uh, we're gonna push right now. You can see her, uh, you know, quieter. She's uh, getting sleep. We're gonna wait a few minutes to like uh, catch all of it, and we can pass an endotracheal tube. So we're gonna be able to like sustain the breathing and continue to give anesthesia. So we keep him like quiet for a period of time, so we can like perform the surgery. Yeah. So this is the endotracheal tube. Uh, just like people, we have uh, we pass an endotracheal tube down the trachea, and that's gonna keep the airway open so we can give oxygen and a gas sedative so we can keep him on a plane of anesthesia that we can manipulate and cut the tissues and really, it will, she herself will not feel anything that we're doing. So now we secure the, the tube, we pass the tube, we secure the tube and we connect them. This is the machine that, that is used. This machine uh, will give oxygen at the same time as uh, gas anesthesia so we can keep them. So that's the anesthesia, this is the oxygen. And now we can keep them in a plane of anesthesia that we can. Yeah. Right now it's asleep. Moving the eye, this is actually uh, I, I, we shave all the hair around it so we have a, a clean uh, area. Uh, we're gonna scrub in a minute, and I try as much as possible to remove all the hair around the eye so it's not there's no bacteria and uh, you know it's more it's sterile. Uh, and I'm applying an ointment that has an antibiotic in it. So we can like, uh, you know, anything that may contact with it, we can clean it later. It doesn't stay in the eye when I push that eye inside of the socket again. So now the area is clip, is clean with the alcohol, with the scrub. The hairs were shaved, so it looks good. We're gonna cover the area in a minute, so we have a sterile uh, field. Uh, we have monitoring over there. We, we monitor the heart, temperature, heart, uh, respiratory rate, oxygenation in the blood. We have the anesthesia machine providing the gas anesthesia and the oxygen. So we're ready to go, and we're gonna see, you guys are gonna see soon what we're about to do to uh, help uh, um, Sophie with her eye. So now, we, uh, what we need to do we have the you know the eye cover, uh, so now we have the sterile fill. Um, this is what's called the medial canthus, so it's kind of like the 
inside of uh, you know this will be a nose right here and that's the like a kind of the, the what we call the medial aspect of the eye so the eye morphs towards the, the the center of the body so now that we have that point of reference we go and so the incision is to happen on the other side and we're going to extend the the open the skin right here to make more uh, um, you know an open space to make more space for the eyes because the eye is swollen so that way the healing can happen and the, 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 the swelling will come down and we'll have more space uh, to, to heal. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we have the, the, the landmark right here, which is the, what called the medial aspect of the eye or the part of the eye that is more towards the center of the body. And so we're going right here, we're going to right here on the other side. I'm just trying to clean around it. So what I did was to like cut over that landmark. Uh, and so now I have a lot of room be before um, I couldn't like get the eye to be closed completely. Now I have a lot of room to like bring the eyelids together and we're going to keep the eyelid together for about two weeks so the eye can like get the the strain and the muscles we track that eye into the socket and then after two weeks we open up and the eyes will be uh, um you know great and, and again unfortunately the vision was lost so you can't see from that eye but we are uh, here at least she at least will be able to like keep the eye and not have a, a, a you know a, an, an area that is uh just like like looking at skin so it's gonna look a, a lot better than if we have to pull the eye uh, we're gonna close the eyelids uh, together so the eye is gonna be completely chopped for about two weeks We were able to see how uh, we're suturing, now we're you know, about to finish, uh, we have a couple more stitches to go, and this is how the eye is, uh, is going to look, it's going to be all closed, that will uh, uh, enable the eye to heal uh, without the pressure that it had before, to be able to like, uh, 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 that inflammation subside and like it, in two weeks it should be back to normal. Okay, the eye will look right now. It's completely uh, shut. We extended the kind of like the, the size so it's the eye is not pressuring there. And like uh, we'll see you in two weeks to show you uh, how it went. Thank you. Hi everybody. Uh, welcome again to Horror Farm. Uh, good afternoon. We're here with Sophie. With Sophie. Uh, Sophie uh, had an injury. Uh, she was bit by, by her brother, another dog at the house. And I don't know if you guys remember, her left eye was like popping out. And so what we did was like to extend the eyelid a bit more to put it back in, close the eye, and see if that, uh, you know, that eye remains there. The eye, unfortunately, she cannot see from that eye, but at least it will remain there and not, uh, you know, she will not have the eye removed. That was the other option. So right now we're about to uh, pull the stitches and we are gonna hopefully see that heal well and the eye remain there so we don't have to pull it. We don't have to remove the eye. So we'll see, we'll show you soon. the last stitch 
And this, uh, you know, surgery is looking great. You'll see the, the final results. That's the last stitch. This is the eye. Right now the eye, see, it remains in place, pretty much like the other one. Like I said, unfortunately, you know, we don't, you know, she can't see from that eye, but the eye remains where it should be instead of a, you know, a hole there without an eye. That's a great outcome that we have here for, for Sophie. Thank you, everybody.